Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about productivity tips for developers. All right, so today I want to answer a question that came in on episode 553 from Dami Salawu. Uh, Dami says, thanks for sharing this, Eric, but could you share some time management slash productivity tips for developers? Though I'm not really into mobile, but I think I'm guilty of delaying projects most times even though I really don't want to. It just happens. I find myself taking more time than it really should, or maybe I underestimate the time it should take. I'd really appreciate it if you could share some tips. So when it comes to productivity for developers or productivity tips for developers, there's so much we could talk about because I think that developers have a special kind of lazy. When we get lazy about things, we're like more lazy than anybody else. It's not like we sit there and go, I've been working at the construction site all day and I'm dog tired. No, we'll, I, I, sometimes I'm so lazy that I won't even want to open Xcode, right? It's just, a, it's, it's lazy upon lazy and but the laziness helps us as developers because sometimes we will we will invent tools to do things that are very repetitive but when it comes to t taking more time than you think it should take on a project or on a task a lot of the times I'm guilty of this too you're over analyzing things or you're getting distracted by something sometimes you're just trying to focus on solving a, a problem and then you're getting distracted by people talking to you or maybe it might be your phone buzzing or social media or or something like that is just distract you from it or you're just analyzing the problem too much like there's a bug and you're just trying too hard to solve it and really you should go around the bug because it try as you might you you know it sh this should be working, but it's not. This should be working, but it's not. This should. You can only say that so long before you say, "I need a different technique to do this. I need to go around this problem if I can." Right. So that's that's one issue. And one thing about if you're taking too long, there's this the Pomodoro technique, which you've probably heard of, which is setting a timer for about 25 minutes and taking a five minute break. So you work full on for 25 minutes, totally focused, and then you take five minutes. A lot of people do this a lot, and a lot of productivity people talk about the Pomodoro technique. To be honest with you, for me, I will use it for maybe three or four days in a row, and then I kind of leave it behind. So it's only when I really need to be focused on something like, dude, this needs to get done today, I'm going to say, if it's not done by this certain time, then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave it. Or so you just know you're watching the clock the whole time and you have that sense of urgency. Cause sometimes on a project, especially a long project that lasts weeks or months, you don't have that sense of urgency <laughs> until the very end. So it's good to keep setting those goals for you. But like I said, sometimes we're just lazy. Um, I've read so many books on productivity from different areas. One of them is Getting Things Done, which is probably one of the, uh, one of the more popular ones. It's a really good book on productivity. But there's this one that I read, which I think relates more to developers and creative people more than any other, uh, which is this one I read. I, I know I've probably mentioned this before. It's uh, Twyla Tharp's uh, The Creative Habit. I don't recommend reading this book. There's a few good things out of this book. I read it years ago, but there's one thing that really stuck with me from it. So what, she's like a, a ballet instructor. So she would chore, she, a choreographer and she was you know, choreograph ballets, but it's more of a business book. So one of the things she talked about was that she, she, every day she would go to the gym, but her goal was not to go to the gym and have a workout. Her goal every morning was just to put on her gym clothes and get in a taxi on the way to the gym, right? Because that was a shorter task than doing what she was doing, right? So, and when I read that, I started doing this too. I, in the mornings, I started putting my gym clothes on right away. Or I'll be, I'd wake up, I'd have a cup of coffee, I'd do a little bit of coding, and I'd think, put my gym clothes on, or put my running clothes on, because I knew if I put my running clothes on, I was going to go out for a run because there's nothing more shameful than having to take your stinky, nasty running clothes off again and not even stepping outside. So I found this to be the case where I would just say, okay, I'm just going to run a mile and then because I'm just, I'm really tired. I really don't feel like I'll just, okay, I'll just run a mile, I'll run half a mile. And then once you're out there, you get the momentum and you get started. And this, I find this the same way with code. Sometimes it, when it comes to getting started or you have this task or this project that you haven't got to, sometimes it's not the next three hours of coding that's the problem, it's the next 10 minutes. If you read books by writers, they'll do this too. They'll say, just sit down and write three pages and then once you get into the flow of it, you get the momentum. You can't just go from 
from zero to 60 miles an hour, you have to gradually work up and sometimes it's just getting the momentum of doing it. So developers, and I know I can be very lazy myself. Last night I was doing a quote and I put this thing off for like for days and it only took me an hour. But once I started getting into it, once I sat down and thought, okay, I, I wrote the, uh, you know, I started doing the screenshots, started doing the estimates, and then once I got into it, it was just go, go, go. But it was starting was the hard part. So put your gym clothes on and you'll make sure you to do it. I think other developers out there, please share your productivity tips because, you know, we can be lazy. I mean, developers can be lazy, but sometimes you, you also, we could also overanalyze things. We could, this is one of the things about clients. They never know if we're working super hard or if we're not working at all because we could be working super hard and overanalyzing something that's taking too long, or we could be not working on something at all because we're just not getting started or, or we're just being lazy. So let me know what you guys think. For, uh, this is a really good question, especially we got the new year coming up. What are some of your productivity tips for developers and what works for you? Uh, anyway, that is it for today. Thanks very much, Dami, for the question. That is it for today. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.